So the system can only deal in paperwork. Everything is in paper and on paper when you're dealing with the system. But all of the paperwork is fraudulent. Everyone, every form that you've ever had to fill out that the system has told you to do, it's a fraudulent document. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. This is the Chicago Manual of Style, 17th edition. This is how to actually write properly. Proper English, proper grammar. And it tells you in here that um, what they have on those forms, it's not English. Total fraud. They trick you into believing it's English by writing in block capital letters, but this is what it is here. It's called a gloss. A written language transcription of a sign, it's called a gloss. Okay, glosses are words from the spoken language written in small capital letters. Women's school cast tend to be regular capital letters may be used. And two or more written words are used to gloss a single sign. The glosses are separated by hyphens. The translation is enclosed in double quotation marks. The sign for the car drove by is written as vehicle drive by. Now, when you see any type of forms that you get out again, your fines or your summons for jury duty, whatever it is, there's no hyphens. So what is it? Well, I'll show you what it is. It's called dog Latin. And here is the definition. This is from Black's Law Dictionary. This is what all the judges read from. They all know this. They don't tell anybody else. Though the solicitors and the lawyers probably don't know it, but the judges definitely do. Dog Latin. The Latin of illiterate persons. Latin words put together on the English grammatical system. So all of the paperwork, all of the fraud that they're writing in, it is not English. It is dog Latin. And also on page... 666 of the Chicago Manual of Style 17th edition. It tells you one obvious limitation of the use of glosses from the spoken written language to represent signs is that there is no one to one correspondence between the words or signs in any two languages. Compound signs. Now it tells you basically here that something that you see in block capital letters, which is a sign, a gloss, you might think it means what it says, but it actually has a totally different meaning. So, I'm just going to read this quick part here. Depending on the transcription system, the sign for parents might be glossed as follows. Mother, father, or mother plus father. So this can be a bit of a hard one for people to uh, hear. But anything that is registered belongs to the state. It belongs to the system. And that includes your kids. If you've registered your kids... Technically, they now belong to the state. Unless you correct your standing and put them on notice as the man or woman that they are your child, they're actually the states. So the reason why they'll have you fill out forms for your kids and they have you down as mother or father in block capital letters, or sometimes it won't be, but you fill that form out not knowing any of this, you're filling it out as the parent. So the sign for mother or father is actually parent because you're the pair that rents the child from the state. The trickery is all in the language. Well, as I've just told you, it's all fraudulent. So any type of um, paperwork you get from the system, be it a fine or jury duty, which I've gotten people out of by writing it all over the form in red, telling them that's dog Latin, uh, that's block capital letters, that's in bold, bold, italics and being underlined, all mean it's off the page, same with boxes. Boxes aren't on the page, it's actually a blank page. They just need you to put pen to paper and then sin all over it. Do your, your signature because you're dead, as you do in black. Sin, sin of nature. The G is silent, so you're actually sinning by signing. And they've tricked you once again. 